and welcome back to another video. Ah, I miss you guys so much. Today, listen boo, we have a very, very, very long overdue video. I don't know why it's nearly taken me an entire year to get this video up. But here we are today and I'm literally so excited to have you guys around my house. So, if you haven't guessed already by the title, the thumbnail and what I've just said. Today's video is going to be a house tour. I am literally so so excited. I've just gone around the whole entire house cleaning, hoovering, ready for you guys to pop around for a cup of tea, you know what I mean. I think one of the reasons it has taken me such a long time to get this video up is just because we are renting so this is our first proper house. If you guys have been following us for a while you'll know that um, last year we moved into our first apartment together but obviously upgrading to a house like there was so much more furniture that I had to get and it took me a few months to really decide what interior I wanted in each room. Obviously because we are renting like I can't go as far to say that this is my dream house but I'm very very happy with the way that things have turned out here. I love living here and I love the interior that I have gone for so I hope you guys do too as well. I will link everything in the description box for you guys as well as where it's from any discounts I might have or anything like that. But we are very, very lucky to say that today's video is sponsored by Desenio, which of course means that I have a discount code for you guys. So Darby 30 will get you guys 30% off the site until Thursday the 8th of August at midnight. And that code works for everything except from any frames or any hand-picked or personalized prints. As you guys have a look around the house, you guys will see that we have Desenio literally hung up in, I think, every room. It is a company I have just loved and adored for years, like ever since my um, passion for home interior kind of started to grow a couple of years back. And yeah, thank you so much to Sunny for working with me today. And guys, I really, really can't wait you to go and have a look at their stuff. You will all fall in love with it. It is so amazing. Feel free to take any inspo from me around my house. If you guys are excited for today's video, please make sure you give a big thumbs up. And of course, angels, if you are new here, hello, welcome to my humble abode. My name is Ellie. I would love for you guys to join the Angel Girl family by subscribing. We upload videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Of course, before we get into too much waffling as I usually do angels you know me make sure you go and grab your cup of tea make sure you go and get your snacks make sure you go and get a blanket if it's chilly outside get yourself nice and cozy and let's go okay so starting from the very beginning because I think that's a very good place to start here we are stood at the front door and this is the first thing you see when you walk into our lovely home so oh I think that's how I'll be coming down the stairs hello <laughs> do you want to come and say hello to me Obviously this hallway is very narrow and I didn't really know what to do with the space. Luckily I found this really gorgeous console table in, um, I think this was Home Sense. And then on top we have a gorgeous wreath. Oh my goodness, you guys are going to see throughout my home. I love fake flowers. Um, I get the majority of them either from Home Sense, these ones are from Home Sense and TK Maxx, um, or all of my wreaths and like really lovely arrangements are from The Secret Garden Company. A woman called Rachel, she is literally the kindest woman. Everything I have from her is very kindly gifted, but yes, I just love her stuff so much. This is a spring wreath, um, an angel wreath actually, and I do also have a autumn wreath, um, autumn Christmas wreath from her as well, so I will leave her in the description box below. She's amazing. Over to the left here, I'm going to show you guys the worst room in the house, basically. This is Connor's man cave. So here we go. There's nothing really too exciting to show you guys in here. I've been telling him to get some nice, like, superhero prints and stuff up because that's what he's really into, but he just can't be bothered to do it, basically. So this is him. This is his office setup, his gaming setup. And then coming on over to the right, we have our lovely dining room where you guys can see... I think they're a little bit wonky at the moment because Connor's literally just put them up, but they are our new Decenio prints there. Oh my goodness, I am just obsessed with them. I really, really love the pale pinks. Obviously, as you guys can see, I chose a gold frame to go in this room just to make it look that little bit more luxe. This room is generally quite luxe. The vibe I wanted to go for was um, clean, modern, shiny. I believe our dining table and chairs are from Wayfair. That's a really, really great website for anybody looking to purchase any furniture. They literally do anything in there. And then the rest of the decor you see in here is actually from Christmas. So I bought these curtains, um, this throw to put on our bench here. That's what the bench looks like underneath. And the lantern and then these lovely 
ornaments on the side, my candles and everything, specifically for Christmas time. But when I was kind of cleaning everything out, just decided I really, really liked the look in here and I didn't really want to change it. So here we have our lovely console table from very.co.uk and so is that lamp in the corner. On top again, we just have some nice flower arrangements. A White Company Reed Diffuser. White Company is honestly my favourite company in the whole entire world for everything. Pyjamas, house stuff, just love it. So yes, that is our dining room. Coming back out, we are going to go down the hallway a little bit more. In here, we have our first bathroom in the house. So just a cute little guest bathroom, of course, with some Desenio prints in here. Very, very natural, um, relaxing prints when you look at them. And that's it, really. Bathroom, nothing too exciting. And here is just a storage cupboard. And then coming over to the right, we have the best room, the living room. So this room is kind of a little bit awkward in terms of styling and trying to choose which furniture is gonna go where because this is a very much like a rectangle shape room. The TV aerial is only over there in that corner so that means we can only have a TV there. Um, obviously because we're renting we can't put it up on the wall or anything like that. And then obviously we have these gorgeous French doors which I actually like to leave open all day pretty much for Herbie just to come in and out as he desires. Sorry, he likes to come and lie wherever I am. So yeah, that was kind of really the only place um, a sofa and a TV could go. So I had a lot of trouble trying to figure out how to um, style this side of the room. And I'm actually really, really happy with how it's turned out. So here we have a really, really lovely bench again from Wayfair. The rug I think as well is from Wayfair. Over here we have our lovely console table. Again, Wayfair. And then I love the look of flowers like this in a cute little arrangement and we've got two candles connor and ellie and then over here again we have some brand new decennio prints again in gold frames because this room is very much like creams whites golds obviously our sofa um you'll probably be able to see a better color of it when i stand over there to show you but it's like a stone beige kind of color so everything blends in really really nicely for this room for the decennio prints i just chose again calming flowers something that still looks really luxe and pretty but also very neutral and then just to come and show you the sofa and the living room from this angle as well obviously as herbie is so kindly displaying for us how comfortable the sofa is our lovely sofa is from a company called sofa club it was very very kindly gifted this is the windsor left arm corner scatterback sofa in color stone graceland and then we also got the matching footstool just um kind of accessorized it with a few cushions from a few various places i think they're literally just from like tk maxx and then over here we have a little corner table just to put our drinks and everything on we have a little reed diffuser and a candle on there as well that is from tk maxx our lovely lamp is from tk maxx these curtains are tk maxx as well i think they are actually dkmy1 in color champagne and then over here we have our little throw basket as well with some nice throws in there. Our TV, soundbar system there. We also have a Nintendo Switch underneath there as well, obviously. And then coming out here, okay, you will have to be ignorant of our grass at the moment um and the fact that herbie's toys are literally everywhere there are so many and to be honest guys i literally try to clean this up all the time every single evening but every morning it turns out exactly the same again so i've kind of just given up with trying to get him to tidy up his toys and in here everyone always asks what this part of the house is that's actually just the garage in there that's not somebody else's house this is ours as well coming over here we have our barbecue and our beloved oh my goodness this is my dream, dream piece of garden furniture. This is from Moda Furnishings. Again, very kindly gifted. Um, I do actually have a discount code for you guys to... Herbie, are you really going to get up on that? Shop at Moda Furnishings. I think it gets you 8% off. Is the day bed. Oh my goodness, I'm so obsessed with it. I will leave the link to it in the description box below. Obviously, it's in like this really big bed setup at the moment. But actually, these chairs here um, can come apart. So can this middle bit here and then obviously the table there. It's just a really, really lovely, sociable um, setup, I find. And obviously, because we are renting, this isn't our garden, um ideally we would have like more patio here to have like a dining setup outside but till we buy our own house and have our own garden i think this is the extent of the garden furniture we are going to have but that's fine because it is so variable in terms of like how you want to sit down and change things with it so yeah very very happy with that again i will leave the link to that in the description box and as we come out of the little patio section there we have our kitchen 
so again nothing really too personalized in here because we are renting but here is how it looks we have herbie's bed herbie's food bowl water bowl all the kitchen necessities i do love it in here it is a really really great kitchen the only things i have kind of chosen to accessorize with here are these flowers which are actually from Matalan and I love them. They were literally so gorgeous in the spring. At Christmas time, winter time, I have a different setup here. As usual, my whole entire house is different. At Christmas time, you guys will have to go back and watch the Christmas vlogs if you want to see what it looked like. This is my spring summer setup here. Just a cute little reed diffuser. I actually need to get a new one. Um, and a candle and these flowers. And then over here we have the kettle, microwave and the bread and biscuit bin. Okay, now that's the downstairs done, we are gonna go upstairs. Herbie, would you like to come? So I did wanna do like a really big gallery wall um, on this wall because it is literally so big, but I kind of feel as I'm gonna save that for um, our house that we buy because that's like gonna do quite a bit of damage to the wall, I think. The only thing I have personalized the stairs with here is this. <laughs> what are you doing? Flower, this is from Home Sense. Herbie likes to knock it off every single time he comes up and down the stairs with his big tail. So, as we come up the stairs, this is the landing. Um, this was actually one of the really, really big deciding things for me when we chose this house because the landing is actually so spacious and I really, really love the fact that you don't come up here and it feels all crowded. Saying that though, again, there's not really much we can do in terms of accessorizing the landing. So we only have this big rug here, which is from TK Maxx. So this bed is a four bed house, um, but obviously I work from home, Connor works from home. So we've done a few different things with the bedrooms just because we don't really need a spare one at the moment. I think in our next house, we are definitely going to be having a spare bedroom, but for this house, it just wasn't really essential. So this room, which is the second main bedroom in the house, um, has become my filming room set up where i can film any video i kind of need to film fashion q a anything like that we have our hollywood mirror set up here from hollywood mirrors um i have an affiliate link for you guys to shop through for that company so i will pop that inscription box below but again that was very kindly gifted um and dressing table is actually just from ikea this little i don't know what to call it um station here is from ikea and on here we just have lots and lots of little accessories and cute looking bits again duh we have our our prints from Decenio. These were ones I picked up, um, I want to say in like October time, but honestly like Decenio have so many lovely prints and I'm pretty sure these ones will still be available. I think if I was to do this room again, I'd probably get gold frames for those as well. Um, but I do love the cream and pink aesthetic in here anyway. Of the drawers here, we literally just have some flowers. And then coming over here, we have my magic rail. So this is always stocked with my favorite clothes at the moment. So I do like a big clear out every season. At the moment, it obviously has summer dresses and everything like that on there. Um, we have some cute handbags, my Alexander McQueen's in their bag, hang on there. And then over here, oh my goodness, I think this might be like my favorite part of the house in terms of decor i feel so happy and content when i look at this little space here because it is just so gorgeous in my opinion so here we have two custom made products that were both very very kindly gifted again the shea lounge is from a really amazing company called comfy homes this is the savoy custom made shays um if you actually go on the website you will see exactly which one it is because they've used a picture of mine that i published on my home decor instagram account called elena jane home in case anybody's interested it's kind of a neglected instagram account but you know i upload as and when oh herbie must you really lie on my foot that's really annoying me that that pillow is not puffed up here we go hang on ladies okay there we go that's better so yeah shea lounge from comfy homes and then the amazing footstool is from footstools and more and how cute angels this is actually named after me this is called the eleanor circular ottoman um, because this is a personalized customized product um but because they obviously liked it so much as i did i think they decided to keep it on the website and keep it going in case anybody wanted the exact same thing over here we have our cute little side table from tk maxx we've got some flowers on there and then just the windowsill with a reed diffuser a couple of candles in my jewelry box and then yeah that is this room over here we have a big mirror that i like to look at all of my ootds in okay so coming out of that room and into this second bedroom here this is actually our wardrobe room 
so before we moved in the family before us had a baby and this was the nursery for the baby um obviously because it is a really really small bedroom so we didn't really know what to do with this space you can obviously make it into a single bedroom with like a single bed but like i said we didn't really need a spare bedroom so decided with the lack of the space in our bedroom for a wardrobe we would just make this the wardrobe room so here we have a really lovely big spacious wardrobe from argos this was actually so well priced um I think as far as wardrobes go like we were really really impressed i think it was only a couple of hundred we have connor's space there my space here we have a lovely big mirror um we have a little footstool from tk maxx gray velvet curtains i feel like if i was to do this room again like i would just forget the whole gray velvet i'm just over it i'd probably do this room in a cream but there we go angels that's what new houses are always for and then on the windowsill here we don't really have very much connor has all of his manly accessories here and then we just have a clock and a little plant over to the corner here we have all of connor's hoodies um on the back of the door and again what do you know some prints from decenio just feel like these really add to the room like without them it just kind of felt a little bit plain and empty i mean listen angel can you even see them in the mirror do you know what i mean like they're everywhere you look so yeah we have chic and parry because obviously fashionista vibes in this room um fake flowers and a, another little footstool from tk maxx you guys will know as we go through the upstairs i'm obsessed with footstools going on over to the next room we actually have the guest bathroom the main bathroom again with some lovely prints from decenio which i just think totally add to this bathroom so yeah not really too much going on in here obviously we had the bathtub a toilet and then a sink Hello. As much as I do love this bathroom, it is definitely one of my big goals um, in the next house that we eventually buy to have like a super glam, personalised, customised bathroom with like a really cool bathtub and stuff. So yeah, I am a bathroom lover. And then coming over here is finally our room. Oh. <sighs> Oh my lord, I'm so sorry about that. It's Connor just coming home. Um, but yeah, that's her little station where he likes to watch the world go by. So, um, this room, what can I say about this room? I really wanted to go for like a really pure, white, clean, feathery, relaxing kind of vibe. I'm going to come over here so... Yes, Herbie, you guys can see the vibe a little bit better. Bed is actually from a company called Arista Living, um, which I do go through phases of having like a 50% off discount code for you guys. Um, and it's completely customised beds already at a really, really, really good price anyway. So the bedding that we have on here is actually the Kylie Minogue bedding. Um, I can't remember exactly which bedding it is called, but I'll try to find links in the description box below. We have the pillowcases, the duvet cover, um, the big throw. This throw is actually really expensive but in my opinion it's so worth it because it just adds that extra bit of glitz and glam to the room these lovely big feathery pillows from zara home i feel like really add a vibe to the room and they go with the lamps so the lamps i actually picked up from tk maxx but the lamp shade i got from home base i think you can find these in a lot of different like homeware stores so i'll try to find some and link them in the description box below and then um we have some cute flowers on each bedside table the bedside tables oh i can't remember where they're from again i'll link them though yeah, that's this room it would look a lot nicer before herbie jumped on it and over here we have some lovely white velvet curtains from tk maxx these are again the dkmy ones but obviously in a white velvet here we have an ottoman which is from very.co.uk I, I got it a couple of years ago though when we first moved into the apartment so i'm not sure if it's still available but if it is i will find a link for you guys wash basket in the corner we have a chest of drawers and a tv and everything here although i must say we don't actually ever use this tv this was just left over from our apartment um because obviously we've got the new tv so this one just kind of come to our room even though we don't really use it we have a bed for herbie here and then over here we have our ensuite turn the lamp on for you guys so yeah again not really too much going on in here we have a sink um a shower and a toilet here is just our sort of little accessories bit this is actually from wilkinson's this really lovely um setup here and then i just have a big bucket which is actually from soap and glory from like christmas time with a few different bath bombs shampoos and stuff like that in there um on top we have this little setup here just some pretty things and that's about as extra as ensuites go finally coming over to my favorite room in the whole entire house we have my office i don't feel like i've actually ever really shown you guys this room because it's kind of always been a work in progress um this room has literally changed so much throughout the months obviously because it's my office and i work from home it was really important to me that this space is like 
absolutely everything that I am. It's got some of my favourite books and everything here. All of these prints, again, are from Decenio. And this gallery wall here is actually really important to me because I didn't just choose pictures from Decenio. I literally spent so much time and effort putting inspiration into it and finding a gallery wall that's really going to motivate me every day because I sit here every day, do my emails, do my editing, do all my work every single day so yeah it was really important to me that i had a really nice inspirational wall so this big one here says dream obviously i think that's very important and also i love the um sort of vibe of it designed a life she loved is a quote that just literally resonates with me so well i just think you have to be the person that designs your life you know and you you can't just sit back and expect life to happen to you you have to put all of your hard work in and create the life that you really want to live obviously we have some angel wings for you guys because you are all of my angels and you are the guys that keep me going we have a pink door that actually just reminds me of london um london for me is a place that really inspires me and i always leave there feeling very motivated and excited for the future so and then here we have a quote from mark jacobs as well which says it would be a much more beautiful world if people did as they pleased and not what they thought other people expected of them which pretty much is saying you do you boo am i right i just love that quote and i think it's so true and it just reminds me every day to chase my dreams despite what anybody else is saying or thinking about me because they're not living my life boo do you know what i mean like you can live in those negative vibes and talk bad about me but i'm the one with the gallery wall from decenio do you know what i mean but yes here we have some photo lights up on the wall these are actually just from ebay they were so cheap they were like 10 pounds um i'm pretty sure if you just type in like net wall fairy lights anything will come up i have the lamp from home base um my reading corner here the chair is actually from ebay but it arrived and it kind of was a gross pink color it's like super dark i don't really like it so i found this throw in home sense and um, a matching pillow and just kind of covered it with that over here obviously we have my bookcase and another footstool is my bookcase here i know everybody often asks me what my favorite self-help books are so i'm just gonna quickly go down it's getting very full um, it's not all self-help, a lot of it is fiction as well. So, yeah, they're my books. And then coming over here, we have my desk. So, lamp, again, shade from home base. I have this fake book here, which is from TK Maxx. Um, this cute little, like, trinket box, which I got from a chocolate shop in Paris. Bits and bobs here. Flowers from Secret Garden Company. Um, we have a candle, glass of water, read diffuse from White Company. Um, this amazing planner, which I am obsessed with. It's literally helped me so much from Carrie & Co. This was very kindly gifted. I love the vibe of it so much. It's so cool. The desk is from Wayfair and the chair is from TK Maxx. Over in the corner, we have a throw basket with a cute pillow, some flowers. And then over here, the windowsill. Nothing really too amazing. I have these see-through curtains just because obviously I wanted this room to be super light and girly and airy. Um, and I just felt as though like any velvet curtains kind of blocked the light and I didn't want the light to be blocked whatsoever because for me, a nice productive working space needs to have lots of light coming in. Just stationary bits and bobs there. We have a glass jar full of pink lindles, obviously. This is actually a reed diffuser left over from last autumn. This is pumpkin spice. I literally cannot wait to buy about 20 more in about two months time. Oh my God, no, wait, one month's time. Hashtag give the video a thumbs up if you are also an autumn gal like me. And then here... Oh my goodness, this is possibly my favourite thing upstairs, actually. This is from the Secret Garden Company, and she can do any letter, any number, personalised. Lovely pink flowers. Oh my gosh, I'm just obsessed with it. It is so special to me. And then we have a cute little pink perfume to go next to it. Now off, we just have a mirror there, so I can obviously look at myself in the market and say, hey, but you're doing great. And yes, that is the whole entire house tour, Angels. Yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed it. How funny you guys know my entire house now. Listen, love you guys so much. Hope you had a great time coming around my house with me. Um, Listen, just leave your mugs on the side. Don't worry, I'll wash them up, you know, or like however many of them because you guys mean the world to me. Love you guys so much. Do let me know if you want to see any more like home interior videos um, or organisational videos or anything like that. Honestly, like I have such a passion for it, but 
um i wouldn't really know where to start so if you guys do have any videos that you would like me to do please just leave um a comment down below for me to check out don't forget as well my 30 percent off discount code is in the description box for decenio and that runs out midnight at thursday if you guys want to get hooked up with a cool gallery wall like that just click the link in the description box below thank you guys so much for coming along with me if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up and of course angels if you were new here and you stayed all the way to the end oh my goodness thing we're meant to be hello love you so much already make sure you subscribe Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for coming around my house with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.